Stimulus is likely on the way. The question now, what shape will it take? Elon Moy is on Capitol Hill for us. First, though, Eamon Javers is on the North Lawn of the White House. Eamon, we got a few details, although not much, what the president may be asking for. Yeah, not much, Scott. Last night, the president came to the White House briefing room and said that today he would hold a news conference to unveil what he called major and dramatic economic proposals. Well, he never held that news conference. That didn't happen. But Larry Kudlow did come to the press briefing room today and said that the centerpiece of the president's approach when it's all unveiled publicly, which it has not been yet, uh, will be a payroll tax cut. They're talking here about eliminating the payroll tax down to zero on the, the employer and employee side for at least until the end of the year. That's the idea. Uh, during that press briefing, I asked Larry Kudlow, given that those payroll taxes generate something more than a trillion dollars a year, where are you going to replace that revenue to, uh, to the federal government from? Here's what he said. Let us put the proposal out in concrete details mm -hmm. and flush that out, and we'll have much better answers. Right now, I want to stay in my lane. And I think the health uh, story, the coronavirus story, is, uh, is very, very important here. We will do the best we can, Eamon, to give you specific plans and details once we flush them out. So they're suggesting that they can replace the trillion dollars in revenue from, from other revenue sources. They're just not naming those other revenue sources. Not clear where that's going to go and not clear what the reception uh, might be up on Capitol Hill to that idea. But Larry Kudlow is saying tonight that's the centerpiece of the president's plan, Scott. And we'll go to Capitol Hill, Eamon, because Elon Moy is standing by there with perhaps some answers on what happens next in terms of this stimulus. Elon. Well, Scott, the House is certainly not waiting on the Trump administration to start moving. Two congressional sources have told me to expect Democrats to release a proposal tomorrow that would be targeted at workers who have been impacted by this outbreak. I'm also told uh, that the goal is for House members to vote on this plan on Thursday before they leave for recess. Now, earlier today, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that Democrats are ready to go. They're just waiting on the Congressional Budget Office to tell them how much their plan would cost and for the Legislative Council to give it a read. We can only support an initiative that puts families first and not trickle down solutions that help up here that eventually have a collateral benefit down here. No, families first. Now, Pelosi did meet with Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin earlier today. She said that the meeting was pleasant. He said that he was hopeful for some sort of bipartisan consensus. But Pelosi was also very clear that she needs to see Democrats' demands met. That includes uh, expanding unemployment and food stamp benefits. That includes paid sick leave, as well as free testing and affordable treatments. Those demands need to be met before she is willing to consider any broader measures, Scott, such as a payroll tax cut. Back over to you. Maybe some pushback as well, Elon, tonight from inside the president's own party. The Washington Post is reporting that, that Senator McConnell doesn't, quote, love the idea of a payroll tax to begin with. So this could have an uphill climb from the get-go. That's right. Republicans have not historically been in favor of cutting the payroll tax for a variety of reasons, one being that uh, it would potentially decimate Social Security. The other one being that if there is a holiday and eventually the tax goes away, who's going to be blamed for taxes then rising down the road? So there are a number of political hurdles this can face. Uh, but what my understanding is right now is that this is going to be a deal that has to be struck between uh, Secretary Mnuchin, the White House, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Also remember that any tax measures have to start in the House in the Ways and Means Committee. So Democrats are going to have a lot of say in what this package looks like going forward. Yeah, Eamon, um, Larry Kudlow brought up the idea of using executive authority as well on some of these things. He said that in the news conference where you were standing in today when it, when it related to things like sick leave and maybe small business relief too. Right, and it's not clear exactly what the White House is talking about because they have not provided any details of what their plans are, but officials have all along said that they envision a mix of executive orders from the president in terms of the federal bureaucracy and then other things that have to go, as Elon is saying, uh, through Capitol Hill, and they have to negotiate with Democrats on that. So there's some they might be able to do on their own, some they've got to work with Congress on, but we just don't know what the president favors at this point at any level of detail, Scott.